There's no use in discussing it any further. You don't seem to value my counsel anymore. I'm sorry, but you need to hear this. For too long, you've pressured me into doing things I didn't feel led to do. And I've allowed it because I didn't want to lose your money. My pastor, how can you think I... I have devoted my life to this church. It will never lose my support. stood up to her. Hello, Elijah. Why don't you come in out of that cold? Where's your mother? Mama's at home. Would you like some tea? Should be the last of it. Okay. Thanks, Jan. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna miss you. Miss you too. Come on, Nora. I'd like to get there before my shows come on. Take it easy, Evan. I'm saying goodbye to my baby sister, okay? Why'd you have to marry a preacher? <laughs> hey, Evan. Try not to get fired from this church. Goodbye, Jan. We'll call you when we get there. Okay, be safe. There she is. I'm 
so proud of you. It's your first First Baptist. Don't worry, it's not gonna be like last time. Do what's right, provide strong leadership, everything will be fine. Yeah, because that worked so well the last time. No, this time I'm playing the game. Gonna give them what they want. Now that sounds like your father talking. Well, it worked for him. 35 years at the same church. 35 years at a dead church. It's more like a country club. That's what they call job security. Oh. Besides, look around. This wouldn't be a bad place to retire. Mm. I've got to get better directions. It says turn left here right before the happy hooker. <laughs> that can't be right. All right, well, I'm going to go check out that bookstore we passed on the square. Looks like it'll be here probably in about three weeks. Yeah. Oh, sure, I can do that. Yeah, I'll give you a call. Okay. Bye-bye. New in town? Wow, you're good. <laughs> How'd you know? It's a small town. Most vacationers don't start coming out till the fall. I'm April. I'm Nora. Good to meet you. Well, just let me know if I can help you with anything, okay? Thanks. Actually, what can you tell me about the church around the corner? Oh. <laughs> oh, are you religious? Yeah, I guess you could say that. <laughs> well, if I were looking for a church, which... I am not. <laughs> I'd probably go one town over to Ruston Community Church. Some of my friends started going there. They really seem to like it. What's wrong with First Baptist? Just has a bit of a reputation. Not exactly the most welcoming folks, if you know what I mean. Kind of like a country club? Exactly. So uh, what brings you to town? Oh, I, um, I'm gonna be teaching second grade at the elementary school. That's great. Well, welcome. Hey, honey, you won't believe this. The happy hooker, it's a bait and tackle shop. <laughs> oh, Evan, this is April. This is my husband. Hi, April. Nice to meet you. Hi. I'm Evan Burke, new pastor at First Baptist. Oh. Well, we better be going. It was nice to meet you. What'd I say? Yeah, you'd love it here. It is gorgeous. Oh, he's doing okay. He's a little nervous, but... No, we're staying with a member while the parsonage is being remodeled. Yeah, about a month. Yeah, we're looking for it right now. We should be there any minute. Jan, hold on, I think I'm losing you. I'll call you when I get to a landline. This is it. Miss Hedden? Hello? Evan? Hello? Miss Hedden? It's Evan Burke! Hello? I guess we have the place to ourselves. I think we're going to like it here. Kind of like a second honeymoon. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> oh my, I hope that's a holy kiss. Miss Hinton, it's <laughs> nice to see you again. Please call me Miss Pat. Everyone else does. Thank you so much for letting us stay here. You have quite a place. Well, make yourselves at home. I want you to be comfortable while you're here. They tell me the parsonage renovations should take about a month. 
It was very generous of you to pay for all that. I wish I'd done it years ago. Those gas pipes were so old. And if we'd only known, Pastor Wilder would still... But it didn't take the Lord by surprise. No, it didn't. Well, let's get you settled. Where are your bags? Our church community is very close-knit. We're very excited. Good. I'll go unload the car. Oh, wait a minute, Pastor. I'll get someone to help you. Elisha, can you come down here? Elisha! Oh, oh, there you are. Uh, this is Pastor Burke and his wife, Nora. Oh, I hope you don't mind snakes. Elijah has 13 of them, right, Elijah? 14. He finds them around here all the time. Be careful. This is rattlesnake country. <laughs> Lovely. Honey, help Pastor Burke with their bags? Yes, ma'am. Oh, Miss Pat, can I use your phone? Oh, well, we don't have a phone, actually. It's too much of a distraction. I do have a phone in the chicken houses, though. I'll get Elijah to take you. Thanks. I've never been to a chicken farm before. I bet it's a lot of work, huh? Yes, ma'am. So what do you do for fun around here? Mama says the idle brain is the devil's playground. I always wanted a place where missionaries could come for rest and refreshment, and here it is. Is it just you and Elijah? Mm -hmm. Is he married? Oh, heavens no. We're pretty sure the Lord has called him to be single, but that's fine with me. It is so hard to find a godly woman nowadays. They're a little strange. Their phone's in a chicken house. Yeah, a chicken house. Well, there's a bunch of little baby chickens. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess they're for eating. I know. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, um, just tell Dad I love him, all right? Okay. All right, bye. This is my prayer closet. We've had many long and meaningful conversations in here. We? Me and the Lord. <laughs> right. What happened to them? I have to kill the weak ones, so the flock will stay strong. Stop sulking. I'm not sulking. I'm pouting. Well, it's not the end of the world. But they're singing show tunes tonight. Of all the church members we could stay with, we get the one that thinks television is of the devil. Well, I like it here. How's the sermon coming? Matthew 13. Again? This church hasn't heard it. Well, I have. And every time it gets better, right? <laughs> oh, of course. This is it. You ready? Good morning, Pastor. I'm Scott Grayson. All right. This is my wife, Nora. Hi. Scott's our youth pastor. Oh, OK. 
okay. Yeah, I'm sorry I wasn't here when you came to preach in view of a call. Had a youth retreat in Panama City. They usually don't want me around for the important stuff. <laughs> well, I don't think there's anything more important than the youth. Yeah, well, if you follow me, I'll get you all wired up. I pull double duty, youth and media. Good morning, honey. Oh, Miss Pat, it's nice to see a familiar face. Well, you certainly are making yourself right at home. What do you mean? This is my seat. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it's all right. It's not as though I had my name on it. <laughs> Although my husband's is. What? In memory of Mr. Eddie Hinton. That's so... Well, I can just move. <laughs> so nice to have a first lady again. <laughs> you know, Pastor Wilder had been a widower for several years. I guess you could say this church was his wife. Your husband has some big shoes to fill. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Julie, for that wonderful solo. I'm sure it blessed God's heart. Before I begin today's message, I would like to express my sincere appreciation for calling me to be your pastor. My wife and I are so excited to serve with you all, and we look forward to meeting each of you at the fellowship immediately following the service. Now, if you'll open your Bibles and turn to Matthew chapter 13. George, your message, Pastor. Thank you very much. Nice to you. Sleepy. Hey. Glad to have you guys. Thank you very much. Glad to have you. How are you? Your sermon blessed my heart. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> hey, nice shirt. It's really great. Good morning. Your sermon was boring. Yeah, my wife warned me about that. <laughs> okay. Hi. Okay. Save some for the rest of us, okay? Are you a Democrat or a Republican? Enjoyed your message. Thank you very much. I really enjoyed the service. Thank you so much. I didn't vote for it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Save seats for you too. Okay, thanks. It's a really nice turnout today. We had over 100 in Sunday school this morning, although we have had more. Yeah, we've lost quite a few families since Pastor Wilder's death. Now, Dan, be honest. They were leaving before then. It's at Ruston Community yeah, Church. We're getting settled. You don't know how blessed you are to be staying with Miss Pat. Yeah, she seems really sweet. Of course. I think we ought to reinstate our Tuesday night visitation. Dan, those kids are back in the youth house again. Unbelievable. I talked to Scott about this last week. I'm sorry, what kids? 
Scott has a youth service that's attracting a lot of bad influences. He's using rock music. These kids, they don't show up for Sunday service, but they feel like they can use our facilities whenever they want. Pastor, we took our children out of the public schools to keep them away from kids like these. Their language, the way they dress. We have a teenage boy, and some of these girls, I mean, it's really upsetting. Pastor, what do you think? Wouldn't you agree that it's dangerous to bring these worldly kids into the church? Well, I, I think it's important that the church be a safe haven for our young people. We certainly don't want to expose them to anything that might lead them astray. But I think what Scott's trying to do is provide a safe and positive environment for kids in the community. And I don't see anything wrong with that. Pastor Wilder always taught that the church is for Christians. Oh, I disagree. I mean, look at the life of Jesus. He spent most of his time ministering to the undesirables, tax collectors and prostitutes, people the religious leaders look down on. I mean, these kids want to spend time at our church. I think we should be thrilled about that. Yeah, I see what you mean. I just think we have to be careful not to become so focused on insiders that we forget about the rest of the world. I mean, that's why Jesus came in the first place. It says in John that Jesus came not to condemn the world, but that through him the world might be saved. No one here is suggesting that we put up walls to keep the undesirables out. These are all valid concerns. Yeah, but I think that we... Pastor, do you think you could speak with Scott about this? I suppose I could talk to him sometime this week. So this is the new Evan Burke, huh? Give them what they want. Okay, don't start. What do you expect me to do? It's my first Sunday. Well, just don't forget, you are the pastor. All I agreed to do was talk to Scott. Just promise me you won't stop what he's doing. You know I wouldn't do that. Just give it some time, okay? This will all work itself out. I'm leaving. You be okay here by yourself? Mm-hmm. I love you. Bye. Turkey and cheese. Miss Pat? Mama doesn't like to be disturbed when she's praying. I'm sorry. So she's a prayer warrior. But it's all day, every day this week. Isn't that a little excessive? I mean, she doesn't even stop for lunch. Well, she does have some charismatic tendencies. No, oh, it's not like that. I grew up charismatic. This is different. This is some really weird stuff. It's like she gets in this trance or something. Just let her do her thing. I don't know. It creeps me out. I'd be more concerned about Elijah. Stop. He's just shy. Come on, Nora. The guy's almost 30 years old and he still lives at home with his mama. Good morning. Pastor, can I speak with you? Miss Pat. Uh, what is this in the bulletin? Scott is taking the youth to see blood-stained endeavor? 
That's right. They're a Christian. Um, they're a they're a contemporary Christian group. I thought we talked about how dangerous rock music is. It is nothing more than a gateway to sex and drugs. I believe that was already on the schedule before I got here. Still, Pastor, I think you need to do something. I really don't want to interfere with Scott's job, so I think I'll defer that one to him. Well, as always, I'll trust your leadership in this. I appreciate that. Oh, I almost forgot. Uh, Pastor, I wanted to give you my tithe personally. It's such a large sum. I, I didn't want to make a spectacle by putting it into the offering plate. I really don't feel comfortable holding this. Oh, it's quite all right. I trust you. Morning, Pastor. Larry, hi. Let me take that. Thank you. Mrs. Preacher. Hello. Didn't think I'd be seeing you again. What can I do for you? Well, strangely enough, I need a book. Well, our selection of religious books isn't very big, but feel free to look around. Actually, I was looking for something a little more exciting. Oh. Well, let me think. Oh, I've got it. Come with me. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Nothing like a good thriller to get your blood pumping. This is one of my faves. Mm. Ooh, murder? Intrigue? Oh, is that okay? Please. The Bible has more murder and intrigue than most movies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How much do I owe you? Tell you what, you just promised me that you'll read that and bring it back to me when you're done. Okay, thanks. Hey, Elijah. I hope you don't mind. My grandparents had horses when I was a kid. It's fine. Hey, you do a great job of taking care of everything around here. Thank you. Can I help you with that? Oh, come on. I feel useless just sitting here all day. It'll give me something to do. Okay. Yeah? Hmm. Might want to watch out. I once jabbed my grandpa in the butt with one of these, and he didn't sit for a week. <laughs> Would you mind helping me at the chicken houses today? No, not at all. I'd love to, actually. After my husband's death, I took over the daily operation of the farm. I can't believe you run all this by yourself. Well, Elijah does most of the physical labor. Honey, can I speak with you in love? Of course. There were many great men in scripture who were led astray by women. Adam had Eve. David had Bathsheba. Samson had Delilah. Yes. I feel you may be a stumbling block to my boy. What do you mean? Well, it's the way you dress. For a boy who's trying to keep his mind pure, he doesn't need to be seeing your curvy legs all day long. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I know you didn't mean to. That's just the way Satan works. What are you doing? Where is she? She went to the store. What is that? Not here. Come on.
I had Margaret record last night's episode for me. If Miss Pat really wouldn't like it. Come on, what's the big deal? I need a little TV to help me unwind. We won't tell her. She got onto me for wearing shorts. She really won't like this. <laughs> Silly, you're my guest. Where did that husband of yours get to? I saw his car out front. Oh, he's around. Well, I wanted to talk with him about the men's conference coming up in a few weeks. All the men are going. I took care of his registration fee. I'm sure he'll appreciate that. That was very generous of you. Oh my, it's dark in here. Oh. There, that's better. Thanks. Okay, get it out of here. I'll hide it, don't worry. Hey, Pastor. Hey, Frank. Tell your wife we missed her. I hope she gets to feeling better. Will do. You have a good week. That was a really great sermon. Thank you. It's good to see you guys. It's good to have you here. Thanks a lot. See you next week. That was a wonderful sermon, Pastor. I really enjoyed your insights on that passage. Thank you, Miss Pat. I was wondering when we could be expecting some teaching on the Old Testament. Pastor Wilder always said there's a reason it's twice as long as the New Testament. You know, that's a great idea. I think I'll do my next series from Habakkuk. That would be marvelous. I think you're going to work out just fine. Oh, by the way, Pastor, have you had a chance to speak with Scott about that rock concert? Not yet. I plan on getting to that this week. Pastor Wilder was so upset about this situation with the youth. You know, they say that his death was an accident, but I know the truth. The truth? He was going to put a stop to Scott's worldly methods. But Satan, he just couldn't allow it. Don't you worry, Pastor. I'm praying extra hard for you. Pastor, how'd the concert go? Good. Will I be getting any calls this week? No, it was fine. Actually, two of the kids went up front during the invitation. Oh, that's great. Well, let's just hold off on any questionable outings, just for a while. You got it. We have a problem. Kissing in a Sunday school room, Pastor. It's a result of bringing in those godless teenagers. Now, hold on. Those teenagers are godless, as you say, because no other church would accept them. We have given them a reason to come to church. To corrupt our children. No. We've created a safe environment for them to come and hang out with their friends and hopefully learn a little bit about Jesus in the process. I'm sorry, Pastor. I don't think it's worth the price. What price? Jeffrey is a good kid who made a mistake, and Sarah doesn't know any better. Dan, what do you think? I don't know. I mean, Jeffrey's never done anything like this before. You see, Pastor? Scott has allowed Satan to gain a stronghold in this church. Come on, oh, everybody, that. let's just take it easy. I'm 
So this is Pastor Wilder. He was really loved around here, wasn't he? That's such a shame how he died. You know you can talk to me, right? I won't bite. Okay. Mama doesn't want me talking to you. She doesn't? Why was she even in the meeting? She hasn't had a kid in youth group in 15 years. She's just concerned. Well, I don't like her, Evan. She <laughs> thinks she owns the church. And what's with her telling Elijah not to talk to me? What am I gonna do? Have you prayed about it? No. I'm afraid of what the answer might be. It's not like I have a choice. Scott's just going to have to change his approach. If he does that, he'll lose most of those kids. Maybe they shouldn't be coming to church for the wrong reasons. What about Jackson White? From County Line? You were always getting frustrated because kids like Jackson weren't interested in your Bible studies. You are always saying they were just looking for a good time. They were. Mm -hmm. And what happened when Jackson found out his parents were getting divorced? He woke us up at two in the morning. And you took him to Waffle Hut and you prayed with him. Evan, Jackson came to you during one of the toughest times of his life, all because you invested in a kid who was just looking for a good time. I think you want to get me fired again, don't you? I just want you to do what's right. Miss Pat won't be happy. What if you could convince her that Scott's actually trying to help these kids become good Christians? You could have a service project or a youth work day right here at the lodge. It's not a bad idea. I'll talk to Scott about that tomorrow. Oh, come sweet electric glow. Turn my brain to mush. What the? It's plugged in. What's wrong? It was working a couple of days ago. God hates me. Well, maybe you'll just have to find something else to occupy your time. Without the TV? Oh, Mrs. Burke, you are a bad influence. <laughs> I know. How does French toast sound? Ooh, sounds great. <laughs> you seem to be in a good mood this morning. I am. The Lord spoke to me last night. Oh, yeah? Pastor, I know that you were discouraged after the meeting, so I spent the night asking the Lord to provide a solution, and he did. The Lord told me that Scott is a false prophet sent by Satan to lead our youth astray, and you are to cast him out of our fellowship. Cast him out. Fire him. Miss Pat Evan is perfectly capable of hearing from God on his own. I think what Nora's trying to say is that I feel like God is leading me in a different direction. But the Lord told me. We discussed this at length last night, and we prayed about it this morning. You discussed this with your wife? I don't keep anything from her. Pastor, this is a church matter. And as his wife, I am very much a part of the church. It's just that Pastor Wilder always valued my counsel so much, he never made any decisions without first discussing it with me. I'm not Pastor Wilder. No. No, you're not. This is all 
all your fault. Excuse me? Okay, hold on just a sec. I'm sorry, Pastor. I didn't mean... Honey, please forgive me. I just get so emotional. I love the church so much. I only want what's best for it. I know you do. Excuse me. Mama? Mama's fine, honey. I'm late. I've got to get to work. It's okay. I'll be fine. See you tonight? Mm hmm Jan, leave a message and I'll call you back. Hey Jan, it's me. I really need to talk to you. I guess you can't call me back, so I will try to call you later. Bye. Not early? Yeah. Things are getting a little tense at the lodge. I'm gonna go rescue Nora for the evening. Well, just so you know, I, I really appreciate your support. I hope I'm not causing you too much trouble. Goes with the territory.
Oh, honey, how are you? You gave us quite a scare. I'm okay. I'm just a little wobbly. The doctor said she'll be fine. Her arm will be a little sore, but she's okay. Well, I feel awful. If Evan hadn't come home early, you might not be with us right now. I know. Oh, Pastor, could I talk to you for a minute? Great sermon last Sunday, Pastor. Hey, thanks. Sorry. Do you think you could come by and talk to my husband Charlie sometime? He hasn't been to church in ages. Give me a call next week and we'll talk about it. Sure thing. Thanks so much. It's so nice to see you again. I have no idea who that was. What's on your mind? Nothing. It's just... I think I saw Elijah right before I passed out. But he said he was still at the chicken houses. Well, you were kind of out of it, though. Yeah, maybe. I called. And... I mean, he would have come, right? Sorry, hang on. Pastor Burke. D Dan, it's my day off. Okay. I'll be there. This is it. The beginning of the end. Why? What's going on? The church council's called an emergency meeting to discuss the problem with Scott. Can it not wait till next week? Apparently not. Well, just don't back down. No, I'm not going to. They won't like it. But I won't. Can I take you back to the lodge? No, I think I'm gonna just stay here till you're done. Okay. Meet me at the church in a couple of hours? Okay. I'm proud of you. Finish that book? What happened to you? A snake bit me. And you think it's following you? I think I need to lay off those thrillers. What's going on? It's probably just my imagination, but... If I told you someone was trying to kill me, would that sound crazy? You're right. You need to lay off the thrillers. It's just this place we're staying at. It's way too quiet. I think it's starting to get to me. What place? Oh, the parsonage is being renovated, so we're staying with a church member till it's finished. Pat Hinton? Does Elijah still live with her? Yeah. Do you know him? Yeah. We went to school together. At least through middle school, anyway. I can't believe nobody... There's something you should know. This is Elijah in the eighth grade. He was always a strange kid. He just kept to himself, really. This, this was my best friend, Laura Jennings. She attended First Baptist with Elijah, and I guess you could say she was his only friend. One day during summer break, she was at Elijah's house, and they went out onto the lake. And according to Elijah, Laura fell out of the boat and drowned. Oh, that's horrible. Here's the thing that never made sense, though. Laura was on the middle school swim team. She was an excellent swimmer. So, how'd she drown? Most everybody in town thought Elijah did it. There was just never any proof. I'm not telling you this to alarm you. I just thought you needed to know. Gotta go.
Thanks, Nora. We put the snake in our room. It's all right. Call the police, Evan, please! What's this all about? I know about Laura Jennings. Hold on, no. Evan, he came after me! Because I asked him to. What? I knew this meeting was going to run along, and since Miss Pat was here, I asked Elijah to take you back to the lodge. What about that girl? Elijah, wait outside. Yes, Mama. How dare you? If I weren't a Christian woman, that boy has gone through 17 years of torture. People whispering, that's the boy that killed Laura Jennings. And now when people are finally starting to forget, you dredge it all up again. She was on the swim team. I don't know how it happened. Oh, I wish with all my heart that I did so I could clear my boy's name. She was Elijah's only friend. Why would he want to drown her? I'm sorry. I Let's just go. Dan, can we finish this next week? <laughs> you want to talk about it? No. We move into the parsonage next week. Things will be better then. Do you have to go to the men's retreat tomorrow? She is paying for it.
So, what do you guys have planned? Another day of doing the Lord's work. Look, I just wanted to say again, I am so sorry. Elijah, I shouldn't have jumped to conclusions like Elijah, that. focus on your work. I guess I just let my imagination run wild. The idle brain is the devil's playground. Again, I just wanted to apologize. Well, I can't expect someone like you to understand the ways of the Lord. But I must do as he commands. When the snake bite didn't kill you, I realized we had to take a more active approach. Now with Evan gone for the day, Elijah, get the boat ready. Yes, ma'am. What are you doing? I have to admit, Elijah's taken quite a liking to you. He didn't want to do the Lord's will. But he has received the proper punishment. Spare the rod and spoil the child. The Lord spoke to me again last night. Matthew chapter 18, verse 6. But whoso shall offend these little ones which believe in me, it is better he have a millstone hanged about his neck and he be drowned in the depth of the sea. Miss Pat, think about what you're doing. This is wrong. This is wrong? You have stopped the Lord's work at the church, and you have led my boy astray. Let's go. Mama. Elijah. I told you to. People are here. What people? Good morning, Miss Pat. Well, what's all this, Scott? We've come to do your lawn work and whatever else you might want us to work on. That's extremely kind, but this isn't the best day. Miss Pat, I know we've had our disagreements in the past. I hope we can put that behind us. These kids are good kids once you get to know them. Well, since you're here already... Uh... Great. Evan said you had a fence that needed some work. Oh, yes. Let me show you. Elijah, please don't do this. The police will find out. Do you want to go to jail? Keep quiet. Do you want your mother to go to jail? God will protect her. Elijah, I know you think God is speaking to her, but he isn't. He's crazy. Be quiet! Miss Pat, I thought Nora would be here today. Oh, she's a little under the weather. That's too bad. This was her idea, you know. Oh, it was. How thoughtful. She'll be disappointed she missed the kids. How about I take you around so you can meet some of them? Oh. Come on. And you know Jeffrey Perkins? Oh, yes, how are you, Jeffrey? Fine, and this is Sarah Klein. Hello. Sarah's an artist, painter, watercolors. Mm -hmm. And she's doing really well in school. Here, let me help you with this. There. Oh, that's nice. Why don't you take a break? It really is awfully warm out here. Well, I was going to plant some... No! Why don't I fix us some nice lemonade? That sounds great. Sarah, why don't you help Miss Pat with that? Okay.
Pastor, are you all right? I'm just a little worried about Nora. Well, things should smooth out when you move into the parsonage next month. Next month? Miss Pat didn't tell you? No. Oh, she was so pleased with the remodeling of the kitchen and living room. She's going to do the entire house. It'll take another six weeks. You need help with that? No. I think it's really great what you do for the church. Scott says you help pay for a lot of stuff. He's a cool guy. My dad's in the hospital with cancer and uh, Scott's been helping with meals and stuff. Mm hmm. Elijah? Elijah, listen to me. You grew up in the church. Thou shalt not kill, remember? You know this is wrong, Elijah. Did your mother tell you to kill Laura Jennings as well? No. No, it wasn't like that. So what did happen? I was told you and Laura were friends. I saw a picture of her, Elijah. She was beautiful. Did you have a crush on her? Your mother didn't approve, did she? Elijah, talk to me. Mama knows best. He would do anything to please her. And she was obsessed with keeping you away from anything that might lead you into temptation. No, no, it was my fault. If, if I hadn't... You didn't kill her, did you? Elijah, look what you made me do. It was my fault! Take this. I'll be out in a minute. Is everything all right? Yes, everything's fine. It wasn't your fault, Elijah. You hear me? You didn't do anything wrong. Elijah, I know your mother's made you do some bad things, but you don't have to listen to her anymore. Elijah, I told you to watch her. I'm sorry, Mama.
What are you doing? I heard shouting. You're trying to steal from me, aren't you? What? No. Yes. You're trying to steal this necklace from me. What are you talking about? Come with me. You are nothing but a thief and a liar. What are you talking about? Come with me. Come with me. You know Scott. what you did. Miss Pat, I don't even know what you're oh, talking about. It. What's going on? She was sneaking around in my house, and when I found her, she had this in her hand. Well, that's a lie. How dare you come into my house and call me a liar? I don't think Sarah would do something like that. I'm sorry, Scott, but I must insist you all leave immediately. Okay. Everybody, load up! Scott, Sarah wouldn't do this. We'll talk about it later. I'm sorry about this, Miss Pat. I'm sorry too, Scott. I understand what you're trying to do, but some of these kids are just bad. Hey. Hey. Evan, I'm sorry things have gotten off to such a rocky start. I'm used to it by now. Well, I want you to know that we're really glad you came to Willet Springs. I appreciate that, Dan. And thanks for respecting my decision to support Scott. Well, I only wish I'd gotten behind Pastor Wilder on this issue. Welcome back. Let's stand and join the Harmony Singers as we work Wait, our Pastor home. Wilder supported Scott? Yeah, he hired Scott. He wanted the church to uh, be more focused on reaching out to the community. But Miss Pat said he was upset with her. No, that wasn't the case at all. I'm sorry, Dan. I've got to go. This is Scott. If you just leave your name and number after me. Uh, come on, Scott. Scott. Scott, are you at the lodge? Pastor, I can barely hear you. Are you still at the lodge? Just leaving. We uh, had an incident. How's Nora? Is she okay? Well, Miss Pat said she was feeling under the weather. I didn't see her. Could you go back and check on her? Something wrong? I'm not sure. What is it now, Scott? Did you forget something? I just talked to the pastor and he wanted me to check on Nora. I told you she's not feeling well. He just wanted me to see how she's doing, if you don't mind. Of course. She's asleep, but I don't suppose it would hurt for you to look in on her. Thank you. Right this way. and tell him she's all right. Sorry to disturb you. Well, that's quite all right.
Elijah? Look what you made me do. I'm sorry, Mama. Get the rod. You make the Lord's work awfully difficult. Turn around. You will honor your mother. This has been most distressing, Nora. But I count it as a testing of my faith. And that produces patience. Pastor Wilder's wife was much easier to remove. But of course, she was getting long in years. And Elijah made sure that she died in her sleep. It was a glorious time for the church. Without Martha there to distract him, Pastor Wilder poured himself into the ministry more than he ever had before. But even the strongest men are susceptible to Satan's lies. I tried to reason with him, but in the end, he wouldn't hear it. So the Lord spoke, and I had Elijah hasten his entrance into glory. pastors and their wives are temporary but the church the church is eternal <laughs> honey it's the lord's will We weren't expecting you until this evening. Is anything the matter? Where's Nora? She went for a walk. Now, Pastor, you must understand that Lord told me... <gasps> Nora!
Evan, what are we gonna do? Just let me think. Come on out, Pastor! We'll never make it to the car. There's a phone in the chicken house. Wait here. No, I'm going with you. Okay. Stay close. Aren't you done with that yet? What's wrong, Mama? Pastor Burke came home early. Leave that for now. Help me find them. Hello. Somebody is trying to kill me. The line is dead, Pastor. Run, Nora! My boy! You killed my boy! Mama! No! Six months ago, this church lost someone very special, but he has not been forgotten. Scott Grayson's life was committed to reaching the youth of our community. He understood the vital importance of investing in their lives. Today, I am pleased to dedicate the Scott Grayson Youth Center to the legacy of our dearly departed friend. It is my prayer that today will mark a turning point in the life of Willett Springs Baptist Church. 
that we will no longer be viewed as a country club for a chosen few, but as the church that truly cares for the community.